night. This night is not letting me sleep. But I do wonder, have any memories come back to me yet? Oh my goodness, not one but two memories? Yes, I finally recovered some memories about my human life. But what were those two memories that popped up just now? Oh, well, that's right. My family. And a song I remember singing when I was a human. Someday I'll return my eyes and the land beyond the skies. You'll find me. That window pane upon my bed, the drifting shadow of a bed. Oh, I miss it now. sure traveled a long way. But while we were moving, I couldn't help thinking. All sorts of places have been affected by the natural disasters. I'm sure many Pokemon are suffering because of the calamities. I wish we could get back to doing our rescue work. Sorry, I shouldn't complain. We have to get away now. Period. Huh? I hear voices. Back I go this way! The car got a wow, wow, wow. Not the Not Perma 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 Perma. We'll have to find Oh no, are they catching up to us? Taylor, we better go. Phew, finally we made it through that cave. Where's the Pokemon mob that was after us? Hey, look! Here they are! Perma-ba! Oh, here they come! Run! Step right there! Don't let them get away! They expect us to stop and wait for them? Oh no! Look! It's a mountain of fire. It's Mount Blaze. Look at all that lava pouring from the crater. Can we even make it through there? But they're catching up to us. What do we do, Taylor? Lock! There they are! Get them! There's no choice now. Let's go, Taylor. Look at them go! They're ready for my blaze! Are they insane? My blaze is doomed desolation. No one's ever come this far before. I don't want to go anywhere like that. Can't be helped. Only those brave enough will give chase. Got it! Where'd they go? They had to go this way. Keep your eyes open! I think they're gone. Phew, I think we managed to evade them. But there isn't any point hiding here. We have to get over this mountain to get away. Let's go as soon as we're ready, Taylor. Is this it? Is this Mount Blaze's summit? Wow, this is incredible. I know it's a volcano, but the lava flow is much higher than normal. This might also have a link to the natural calamities. Oh, it's like a furnace. I'm getting roasted. I don't want to spend any time in a place this dangerous. Let's get through this quick. 
Huh? What? It suddenly turned dark. I can hear the mountain screams. It's a shrieking in pain. Someone is causing that place to ride away. Is it you? Huh? That's wrong. We're innocent. We were just passing through. The mountain's rage is my rage. I am monstrous, a warrior of fire and fire. There is no forgiving those who be found the mountain on guard. Wait, please listen. We're not here to cause any trouble. We were chased to this mountain. And you should know, this mountain isn't the only place that is suffering. Natural calamities are happening in all sorts of places. We can't do anything. We're fugitives now. But we want to help Pokemon in these times of natural disasters. Do you say that sincerely? It's true. Please believe me. If you think I'm lying, please, look at my eyes. Phew, my gosh, I thought my knees turned to jelly. You may pass. Get through my boys, and promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that break our world, and stop the disasters from sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Farewell. That was scary, but it's really great that Moltres understood us. Anyway, we should get off Mount Blaze too. <sighs> we walked a lot, didn't we? I'm tired. Let's get a little rest. Mm, the view's fantastic. Oh look, Taylor, look over there. See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We've come a really long way, haven't we? Um, Taylor, wasn't it hard getting over Mount Blaze? I doubt that many Pokemon would be able to get through it. And it wasn't easy coming this far after that mountain. Do you want to know what I think? Do you think maybe that no Pokemon will be able to get to us here? I'm... Honestly, not sure, Pikachu, but I'm worried some still could. Oh, there are still Pokemon that could get to us? Well, who do you mean? Oh, I get it. There's Alakazam. You're right. Alakazam's team should be able to get here. We don't have a choice. We have to keep going. I think we need to go somewhere no one else can get to. Let's be positive and keep moving. Oh, what's wrong? Aren't we going, Taylor? Well, aren't you tired? Pardon? Am I tired? They're trying to catch us. We don't have time to rest. And remember what I said? I said I would go with you, Taylor. Oh, please don't look like that. Honest, I'm fine. Let's go, Taylor. I'll always stick with you.
And so, Taylor's harrowing journey continued. Seeking refuge in even harsher places, they fled north. They crossed row upon row of mountains, forded fetid swamps and scaled frozen cliffs, till finally Taylor's tiny team arrived in a world of snow, a frigid wasteland of driving blizzards. <laughs> it's cold! <coughs> Yuck! My nose is running, and it's freezing! Isn't this one lonely place? See how deep the snow is? I haven't seen any other Pokémon for a while, either. Maybe we're all alone here? Oh, what's the matter? What's that? What was that? It looked like a Pokemon, but... Did I imagine that? No, I don't think so. I'm sure there was somebody there. I wonder what they were doing in this lonely place. I guess thinking about it won't help us. We should keep moving. Taylor, look! See that? Those trees are frozen! Wow, the snow is like frozen powder. It looks pretty, but it must be harsh there. Okay, looks like we don't have a choice. We have to get through this place. It will be horribly cold. I'd rather not go if I didn't have to. But hiding out in this area isn't the answer either. We can only go forward. We'll just have to keep our spirits up and keep going, Taylor. We sure have traveled far into this forest. I think we'll be out if we can get through this part. It shouldn't be far. Let's keep going. Taylor, did you just say something? Uh, no. I didn't think so. I thought I heard a voice. I must have imagined it. Turn back. You may not pause. Who's there? You are forbidden to pause. If you persist in trying to pause, then so be it. Ah, oh, it's too bright. The ice around us is reflecting this light. Please, Articuno, we have to get through no matter what. Please, let us pass. No, I cannot allow you passage. Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid forest is ill. It is warmed considerably in recent times. But warmed? I'm still freezing. The flow of frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. This has never happened. 
given the forest. Then you appear to the forest. Is this natural human? Well, we don't have anything to do with that. It's a coincidence. Please, Articuno, listen to me. It's not our fault that the snow is melting. It's not just here. Right now, natural calamities are occurring everywhere. The forest's frigid airflow would have been disturbed even if we hadn't come. Uh -oh. You expect me to believe that? Whoa, Articuno, uh... what are you doing? Enough of your forest talk. Prepare for your death. Stop it! What is going on? There is nothing false in what they said. Calamities are indeed occurring in nature everywhere. Is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense supernatural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced such before. So, there are calamities besides like this. Fine, I choose to believe you in the past. Articuno! However... Ah! You must try to prevent the calamity from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep. We promise, Articuno. Phew, that was too close. Thank you, you saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. If they are left unchecked, Worse will befall us. My instinct warns me so. I sensed the terrible power of the natural calamities. I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. I'm so serious? Huh? You will? Really? Really. To put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. Thank you, Absol. And so, after getting through the frosty forest, Taylor's team headed farther north. The more they advanced, the harsher the conditions became. This icy mountain path? Seems to go on forever. We've walked a long way here. Pikachu looks exhausted too. We've been running all this time out of desperation. What's in store for us ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? This is too cold. There's nothing but snow now. The scenery's been the same for a while. I wonder if we're really making progress. Um, Taylor, I was thinking... It looks like we've finally reached somewhere that's deserted. I also have the feeling that there isn't anything ahead. And I am pretty tired. The two of us... What's going to happen to us? Pikachu, please don't worry. We'll be fine. You're right. There isn't any point wondering about what we did. Not after all this. Sorry, Taylor. I was just getting down on myself. Taylor, I believed in you, and that's what got me this far. And that's not changing. I have faith in you, Taylor. I'll go with you. Always. Yes. Pikachu trusts me without any doubt. I can't afford to be indecisive. I have to believe in myself more. Wh what? What was that? Am 
mind? Why am I getting dizzy all of a sudden? What? Huh? Is something wrong? Taylor? I don't know, Pikachu. Something... Ugh. Finally, you have arrived. Someone, someone is talking to me. Pikachu? No, this voice isn't Pikachu. This voice, I've heard it somewhere. Taylor, is something the matter? Why are you talking to yourself? Godovar, why can't Pikachu see me? I cannot, I cannot be seen by others. others. I, am I am visible only, only to, you to you for now. For now. A little a farther, farther ahead, ahead, there is a jagged, jagged mountain, mountain range topped top by Mount Freeze. Freeze. On its, its peak, 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 nine tails leaves. leaves. Nine tails? Nine tails, nine tails awaits your arrival. Beware. Oh, wait! I guess I'll just have to throw Pikachu and Axel. Hey, Taylor! Taylor! What's the matter? What happened? I was playing on the way. Come on. Oh, so that's what happened. Gardevoir appeared to you. That's why you were looking so stunned earlier. I'm amazed, though. Ninetales isn't just a legend. It really exists. And that Ninetales is up at the peak. Taylor? All the effort we put into getting here, it's finally going to bear fruit. We'll meet Ninetales and get the truth. We'll finally get rid of the suspicions they have about you, Taylor. Awesome! I'm scared, Pikachu. Listen, Taylor, don't be so worried. It will be all right. It's only natural that you'd be scared of meeting Ninetales, Taylor. The heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir. It may be you. I can understand how you could think that. But that's impossible. You're not that human. I'm sure. How can you say that? We have no evidence. Hmm? Well, there was a time when I had some doubts. But now... I wonder why. I really don't know why. But it doesn't matter. I know you're a good sort, Taylor. Do you remember? When I first got the idea to start a rescue team, I met you in the tiny woods, Taylor. Even back then, I sensed there was something different about you. It is weird, isn't it? But I believe in you, Taylor. Anyway, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Taylor, let's do our best. We finally arrived. This is the summit, isn't it? I wonder where Ninetales is. Maybe they're not here right now, Pikachu. There they are. I've spotted Taylor. All right. I see them. Uh-oh. Uh, Alakazam! H how did you find us? It's about time. We finally caught up with you. Your fugitive act dragged us all the way out here. Pipe down, Tyranitar. We can finally settle things here. I can barely contain myself. I'm itching for a fight. Pikachu, don't think badly of me. I don't know how to show mercy. Taylor, I didn't wish for this conclusion, but this too is fate. The role of a rescue team is to help bring peace. We will crush you with every shred of our power. Get them!
Ninetales. What? Ninetales? Th that's Ninetales. The legend. It was real. Cease fighting at once, Alakazam. They are... my guests. Tell us, Ninetales. Who is the human that appeared in your legend? No, even before that. Was the legend itself a true event? Depending on your reply, I may have no choice but to eliminate them. Whether they consider my curse to be a legend or not, I care not. However, it did happen. Many years ago, I tried to lay a curse on a human. It was then, however, that God of War, the human's partner, dashed in. It selfishly bore the full brunt of the curse meant for the human. Then the human did a selfish and cowardly thing. They abandoned God of War and fled. The human eventually became a Pokemon. Transformed into a Pokemon, the human lives on. And that human would be? Who is the human you speak of? Taylor, you may relax. Just now, what did you just say? Taylor is not the human that appears in the legend. That is what I said. Wh what? something wrong. I'm too tensed up to move. <sighs> Deep breaths. <sighs> Phew. Oh, wow, fantastic! <laughs> That's great! I knew Taylor couldn't be the one. I knew it. Taylor couldn't possibly be anyone that terrible. I have another thing to say. It is true that I foretold of the world's balance becoming unstable. However, that's human becoming a Pokemon and the world's balance. They are not linked in any way. The cause of the natural calamities? It exists elsewhere. Hey you! You were wrong! You were wrong to hound and harass Taylor! Uh, uh, we, uh, apologize. Sorry. We got worked up by that Gengar. <laughs> no, I suspected Gengar right from the start. Taylor just doesn't look like the treacherous type. <laughs> if only that were true. But I must say, you are to be commended for prevailing through this cruel journey and discovering the truth. Impressive, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, this is fantastic! I knew I wasn't wrong. Huh? Oh, but wait. Then why did Taylor turn into a Pokemon? I understand that Taylor isn't the human from that legend, but then how do you explain Taylor becoming a Pokemon? Taylor, who are you? Whoa, what's happening? <laughs> the ground's heaving. Qu quake! The world's crust is shifting, the natural calamities are worsening, and the shifting of the ground. It will awaken the beast that embodies the earth, the beast that sleeps deep underground. Groudon will be awakened. What? Groudon is rising? Groudon? What is that? What's a Groudon? A legendary Pokemon that has been spoken of only in myths. It is the Pokemon that raised the land masses and created continents. It is said to have taken to sleep after catastrophic battles with its arch enemy, Kyogre. If Groudon were to get loose, there would be chaos. It must be stopped. We will go. We'll go too. 
No, you must remain behind. Groudon is far more powerful than any Pokemon you have faced. Leave it to us. That's how it goes. You go back to your rescue team base for a well-earned rest. Don't worry about us. We didn't get our gold rank the easy way. We'll get the job done, and we'll be back before you know it. Fine. We're off to quell Groudon. And thus, Alakazam's team made their way underground to quell the awakened Groudon. Meanwhile, cleared of all suspicion, Taylor's team put an end to their long and arduous journey and returned to their welcoming rescue team base. Meanwhile, back in Pokemon Square. <laughs> out there hunting Taylor's team. <sighs> Easy for you, Sai. It's too much for us. I joined the chase, but they fled into Mount Blaze. For the life of me, I can't go in there. And that's where I lost their trail. I'm a grass type, see? Fire doesn't agree with me at all. I don't know what became of Taylor's team after that. But those fugitives, to think they would risk Mount Blaze. They've grown up tough. I can't keep up. <laughs> what a spineless lot you are. <laughs> You're so full of big talk. What about you, Team Gengar? You just hang around the square and don't do a thing. Walk the talk. You all go. We're out of that picture. Our role is to receive word about Taylor's demise. <laughs> Just appointed yourself that. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Metacham, what's the word? Taylor! Taylor's! Oh, finally! We're finally rid of Taylor! <laughs> no! It's the opposite! Taylor is back! Huh? What did you say? Uh, hey! Over there! They're back! Hi everyone! We're back! Phew, we finally made it back. We've been gone for so long. Is this what I think it is? Yep, this is Pokemon Square. It feels kind of nostalgic to be back here in the square again, Taylor. Hey, Pikachu! Hmm? Oh, it's you, Gengar. It's been a while. What's with that smug confidence? I don't recognize that weirdo in the back either. Wait, could it be? Gengar, everything you said was completely wrong. Taylor had nothing to do with it. Taylor was innocent. Huh? Oh, what? Is that true? Yep. We met Ninetales and asked. Taylor isn't the human from the legend. We're back because we discovered the truth. <laughs> Very funny, Pikachu. But, well, wait a second. You can't be trusted yet. If you're going to make that claim, let's see some proof. Proof? That's right. Some hard evidence. Ha <laughs> Let's see some proof. Come on, out with it. Proof? We don't have any proof. <laughs> it's too bad you don't have proof. You came back for us so we could get rid of you easier. How conveniently foolish. <laughs> 
Now, fellow Pokemon, here's your chance to get rid of Taylor. <laughs> huh? What? What's wrong, everyone? Don't you want to be rid of Taylor? I... I always believed in Taylor! You don't fool me! What? I... I'm out. I was saved by Taylor's team before. I joined the chase with a heavy heart because of your urging. But I simply can't think of Taylor being bad in any way. What? I've heard enough too. I believe Taylor. What? Everyone. Extra, extra, read all about it. What? What is this? It looks like a newspaper, doesn't it? Okay, I'll read it aloud. Uh, let's see. Pokemon News Extra. Taylor Innocent. Taylor met with Ninetales under the watchful eye of Alakazam and proved that they had nothing to do with the human in the legend. As a result, Gengar's claims were found to be malicious lies. Ugh. You run. Uh-oh. Run! Stop, you liar. You conned us. Welcome back! Yep, it's good to be back. We're back like we promised. I'm so glad Taylor isn't suspected anymore! Yep, I'm glad too. We won't have to keep running from everyone anymore. Taylor, we're both exhausted. I'm going to get some sleep. Our rescue team gets revived tomorrow. Let's try to do our best.